More embodied world. What would that be like? So sometimes people say, what's my ambition? And my ambition is to help create a world where an embodiment teacher isn't needed as a thing, where it's surreal as a thing, where people go, why would you need that, right? It would be so obvious to people that it would just be strange, like no one has to teach you how to use a fridge, right? That's not a job, because everyone knows how to use a fridge, yeah? So really my goal in life, my purpose, and I invite you into this as the communities that I'm part of, is to create a more embodied world. Charles Eisenstein, he's an embodiment teacher I love, he says a more beautiful world, what would that be like? You have to be able to imagine it, yeah? To be able to imagine that future, that's a leadership move. Um, for me, if people were more in touch with themselves, human interaction would be totally different, it'd be totally different, yeah? Work would be totally different, it'd be more human. Be, wouldn't be human resources, there'd be less resources and more human. Uh, trauma, how would the world be different if we actually addressed our trauma? You know, we could be the first generation in human history that becomes fully trauma aware or even trauma healed. That's an amazing proposition. What that would do to reduce the violence in the world, for example, to reduce the suffering in the world is absolutely huge. What would it be like if our leaders were all embodied? They were empathic, they were values driven, they were connected to what matters to, them, to themselves and the bigger picture through the body. You can imagine having that was, imagine if that was just normal in every business, every government. How would parenting be different? If parents understood self-regulation, co-regulation, trauma, if parents you know, had their own embodied practice, how would that impact child rearing? Schools. What about healthcare? You know, you went to the doctor and he said, well, okay, you could take these pills or you could do this yoga class and I really recommend this meditation practice. Wouldn't that be a different kind of doctor? I know doctors like that. I've trained doctors like that. Yeah, this is happening. So this vision I'm saying isn't uh, impossible. It's beginning already. Like you're part of a movement. There's a movement movement, we sometimes call it, yeah? People getting more in touch with themselves. I invite you into that, that imagining. How would we treat the planet if we were actually feeling? Yeah? I invite you into that imagining. Um, you know, think your local community, think small, and also think big. Yeah? So if you're studying with me, if you're watching this as part of a course, then, you know, welcome. You're doing the work for yourself, for your stress levels, for your leadership, whatever it is. But there's a bigger picture here, and I think that's worth um, feeling into and reflecting upon.